learning outcomes after studying this module you shall be able to know what are stroke sequencing you will also able to learn the importance of stroke sequencing in examination you have seen in many examination that one stroke is overwritten or is intersected by another stroke sometime with the same writing instrument like ball pen with ball pen or sometime with different writing instrument like ball pen with gel pen or even gel pens so you have to identify which stroke is written earlier and which stroke is subsequently added this is very helpful in terms of examination next is you will able to identify the sequence of stroke now dear student we will learn about stroke sequencing and writing examination is based on writers identification as well as the proof authentication of the signature on the handwritten document the fundamental difference of handwriting examination is that people are all alike people are all different the characteristic of the process of handwriting that is the velocity variation of the pen pressure during the writing stroke etc are unique to every individual as we know handwriting is the neuromuscular task and thus it is produced with the combination of so many factors sometimes the writer has some thoughts in his mind sometimes the writer is sad sometimes he is excited about something with that the production of writing with muscles the hand sometimes the hand is not moving actually the way it should due to some medication or other factors so all these factor contribute to a handwriting and with that the very important factor that is writing instrument also plays a role to be able to make a positive identification of person's handwriting a document examiner must be able to observe the distinguish individual features that separate one person from all others forchers always focuses on the pictorial effect of handwriting such as the letter size shape style and slant of writing slant in terms of some people have the right foot slant some has the left foot slant even so many people around 40 to 50 percent follows the vertical slant when someone tries to copy another style of writing two difficult things must be done simultaneously first the forger must alter his or her own way of writing second the forger must opt all the writing habits of the writer making imitate that means one has to change the way he writes in his life suddenly and at the same time he has to acquire the writing habits of another person so these both combination of feature is not possible simultaneously at a point and if one tries to do so he or she has to sacrifice the speed skill and other features of handwriting especially the line quality is very much affected in such cases some forgers copy a signature over an indirect light source but must try to simulate the writing after practice indicates that signature look close in addition the stroke structure and sequence often do not exhibit the same class as those found in the original writing because as i have discussed when one tries to stimulate or imitate somebody's signature he need to be very much concentrated focused on the writing and still with the 100% focus and concentration it is 
impossible to simulate or imitate exact replica of the some other person's signature. Now we will learn about importance of intersecting lines. In forensic, we usually found the cases where we have to determine the chronological sequence of intersecting lines. Fraudulent documents are sometimes prepared by writing or typing above the genuine signature or thumb impression obtained on blank paper or originally executed for some other purpose. Such type of cases we have seen that a person tries to get somebody's signature on a blank paper and then subsequently adds the writing matter over it. So, by intersecting of stroke, we can determine which, which one is earlier because in such cases, the determination of forgery will not be helpful to go into the case depth because the signatures are genuine. Here, the document is not genuine. It is built up as the writing material is subsequently added. So, in such cases, the intersection of stroke is very much helpful in leading the court to give a positive and a correct report. Even small interlineation in a word, sentence or a paragraph to a document may result in an irreparable loss if gone undetected and unproven. The forger who makes interpolation to achieve some gain does not know himself that the line crossing may furnish positive proof of the order of the writing and therefore he fails to avoid what should be avoided. On the other hand, if a document is falsely attacked, its genuineness may be ascertained by examination of sequence of stroke. But now with the advancement of the techniques, it is possible to ascertain the sequence of intersecting lines in most of the cases. Examiner should always keep in his mind about the optical illusion that at the point of intersection a darker line or stroke always appear to be over a light line even if it was drawn first and a lighter stroke always appears to be beneath the darker line even if it was drawn the later on. That means the illusion always gives you the effect that the darker line is always subsequently returned. But we have to thoroughly examine the document in such cases. We cannot go just on physical analysis. We should go in depth by checking the intersection of stroke under the various instruments like the VSC or even the stereo microscope. All this will help in determining the strokes, the intersection of stroke. The instrument known as Kappa is also very much helpful in such cases. Now we will learn about the examination procedure. The instrument which is most useful for determining the sequence of strokes is stereoscopic microscope. The instrument provides the three dimensional image on the object which cannot be provided by any ordinary compound microscope. Even if the highest power of objective and eyepiece lenses are used, in most of the cases magnification lens less than 50 magnification provides most effective and useful. The higher power may be used in typical cases. The angle of incident light with respect to the surface of paper as well as the direction of strokes play a very important role and its proper adjustment affects greatly on accurate interpretation. Sometimes transmitted light examination may be of some use on specific situation. Now let us learn about the principle of stereo microscope. When a specimen is placed at the focal distance 
from the objective. The divergent light rays coming from the object passes through the objective lens and emerge parallel. Then the same light passes through the second objective of the binocular. But binocular are specifically designed to observe distinct objects that are essentially the result of parallel light rays. In fact, the second objective form an image of the object in the correct position of the eyepiece which make it appear distinct. For determining the sequence of stroke, the physical modification may be taken into consideration like the modification in the second stroke writing due to the presence of the first stroke writing at the point of intersection. Secondly, the modification in first stroke writing may be caused by second stroke writing. Third, change in the writing surface such as change absorbency and surface disturbance. Internal qualities of subsequent stroke or writing. The noted modification may be governed by cause of various factors like nature of writing instrument. The particular combination of writing instruments like fountain pen, ball pen, sketch pens, carbon pens and typewriter etc. The nature of writing surface, its structure, folding and absorbency etc. The nature of support beneath the writing surface, time interval between the writing, the direction and speed of writing movement, nature of ink and other materials deposited on the paper etc. Now dear student, let us learn about intersecting pencil lines. If the pencil lines are drawn with a considerable pressure causing indentation in the paper. A careful examination of such indentation under stereo microscope and proper angle of incident light may be at once revealed. Their chronological sequence. The upper line will show a continuous indentation or furrow across the line drawn first that is the lower line. In some cases when a pencil of a harder grade is used with more pressure the strokes may show longitudinal striation or stretches which may also furnish a positive evidence of their sequence and one should not attempt to form an opinion unless there is some positive conclusive evidence. Now let us learn about intersection of pencil with ink line strokes. The sequence of intersecting pencil lines with fluid ink lines cannot be properly determined in most of the cases. In some exceptional cases, the continuity in metallic luster in the pencil stroke over a fluid ink stroke may give an indication that the pencil line was drawn over the ink lines. The intersecting sequence of pencil line with ball pen lines may be determined from the continuity of the indentation in the stroke. If both of them are returned with sufficient pressure to cause indentation. Continuity in the groove will indicate that the stroke is returned above the line which shows discontinuity in the grooves or indentation. Now let us learn about intersecting type return words or letters with ink lines. If it is often claimed that the sequence of intersecting fluid ink lines and typewritten matter can be definitely determined from the phenomena of shrinkage in the width of the ink lines 
due to the oily nature of typewritten stroke when ink line passes over it. Practically, this phenomenon can be helpful in very few number of cases. In most of the cases, there is no appreciable change in the width of the ink line due to the presence of oily medium of typewritten line. There are some other techniques such as pseudo low relief technique based on photographic superimposition of negative and diapositive of oblique light photograph of the same person with swagger between the two pictures have been suggested by some workers but such techniques are also not fully reliable. Next is intersecting ballpoint pen lines. When a ballpoint pen lines are written with sufficient pressure to cause grooved line on the surface of paper, the continuity in the grooved line at that point of intersection indication that the line is above the first line that is the line was drawn after the first line and the interruption in the margin of the groove line shows that it was written first. It has also been suggested by some authors that the sequence of intersecting ballpoint pen lines can be determined from the examination of intersecting embossing on the reverse of the paper. This examination is not affected by the optical illusion due to colors of inks darkness or lightness of shades or other factors. The other methods to study the continuity of intersecting ball pen lines involving lifting of some ink from the point of intersection using chromatocote paper proposed by Elock and Reynolds and Sem. Writing over folds. To determine whether the writing followed the fold of the paper or fold followed the writing is sometimes a matter of great importance in the investigation of contested document. In case where signature or thumb impression is obtained on a blank paper and the body writing is returned Subsequently, the preparatory may not be able to appreciate the significance of fold already appear in the paper and he may write the matter across the folds which may ultimately furnish a two picture of the sequence of writing with folds of the paper. Similarly, in case of fraudulent additions or interlinations, if some part of letters is added in matter, followed the fold of the paper and particularly if there is other matter on the same document which was written before the paper was folded. It is sometimes possible to show which part of writing was added subsequently. Writing over fold such as ink line Paper folds, they may affect by number of factors like the kind of writing instrument method, quality of paper, thickness of paper, nature of ink, the direction of ink stroke in relation to the angle of fold, the nature of support under the paper at the time of writing or typing, the closeness of fold and amount of pressure exerted on the paper when folded. The number of times the paper was folded and unfolded. The length of the time the paper remained in the folded condition etc. Now let us learn in detail about the obliterations. Overwriting that is the obliteration 
or blocking out of portion of writing by some opaque materials is seldom used for fraudulent purposes because of its obviousness. Nevertheless, from time to time, such obliteration may be encountered in all types of documents. Many times, the writer blots out writing simply by striking out or striking over it thoroughly with same writing instrument with which the document is written. The anonymous letter writer may attempt to block out a printed return address on any available envelope. Successful decipherment or restoration depends principally upon the medium employed for the original writing and the covering material. There may be three possible methods of solution present themselves. First is to penetrate the covering layer so that the original writing layer beneath is revealed. Second, to remove the obliterating material chemically or by some other means while writing original remains untouched. And to try to decipher the impression from the original writing or typewriting that has not been destroyed by obliterating action. Imaging methods can succeed it if there is a difference in color of chemical composition exists between the original writing and the covering material. Separation may be affected with filters of a color. Similar to obliterating substance but this attack breaks down when the covering is true black. The use of an IR imaging system that is capable of transmitted light, IR luminance, UV radiation and oblique lighting may enhance the chance of differentiation success as well. It has been shown that in utilizing scanning and imaging software, some inks may be differentiated. As a general rule, if complete and accurate decipherment is to be achieved, the method involves repeated attempts under slightly different conditions. When other methods fail or are impractical, the obliterating material can sometimes be removed or weakened by chemical or mechanical means. Success depends on whether the techniques employed affected only the obliterating substance or at least have more pronounced effect on it if than the writing beneath. The blue pen or alkaline inks obliterating carbon inks, pencil strokes covering line or ink and many ink or pencil strokes hiding typewriting or combination that tends to themselves to use these methods of attack. Ordinary erasers and common solvents that may affect writing inks when skillfully manipulated may achieve the desired results. Thus, under favorable circumstances, this approach to the problem is successful. But as the combination of materials that are not susceptible to this treatment are numerous and success is far from universal. Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. The basic fundamental principle of handwriting examination is that people are all alike, people are all different. That means handwriting for a particular person will be his or her individual characteristic. It is not possible that two persons are writing exactly alike except in the case of the handwriting which are traced. Although there are also various features on the basis of which we can say this is not the original writing as the traced signature or handwriting are not live in nature, they are drawn in nature. In some cases even small interlineation in a word, sentence or a paragraph to a document may result in an irreparable loss if gone undetected and unproven. As we have discussed in many built up document, there is a chances that the signature are genuine but the matter which is added was added subsequently. That means the signature are taken on the blank paper. 
In such cases, if we will not examine the document as whole, then the problem may not be solved and the court will lead in false direction. Stereoscopic microscope is the best suitable instrument which is capable of detecting chronological order of strokes in writing. Although we have other instruments like VSC, Kappa, which also help in determination of strokes. There are many possible conditions in which we have to determine the sequence of strokes in the writing, such as intersecting pencil lines, intersection of pencil lines with ink lines, intersecting typewritten and ink lines. Overwriting or obliteration is the blocking out of portion of writing by some opaque material used for fraudulent purposes because of its obviousness. Imaging method can succeed if a difference in color or composition of chemical exists between the original writing and the covering material, but it is not successful in case where the composition of the writing instrument is similar.